Well, dozens of chihuahuas at a local animal shelter tonight, and they need your help. Andrew Horansky explains how they got there and what you need to know before you could adopt. A breeder who got in over their head. That's how 84 chihuahuas recently ended up at the Cleveland Animal Protective League. But if you are thinking about bringing one of these little guys home, there's some things you should know first. It came as a tip from a person out to purchase a puppy, hoarding at a local mill full of chihuahuas. Just living among themselves in filthy, absolutely filthy conditions. Overnight, the number of dogs at the Cleveland APL more than doubled, with news of them bringing big lines. But they are not for everyone and far from house trained. I don't think these are going to be good placements for people who have not had a dog before. They have lacked critical socialization. They've lacked human interaction. So they're all fearful in some way on a spectrum from a little bit fearful and may come around quickly to very fearful and will need a lot of work. They are going to be projects. Still, one this couple from Sheffield Lake was willing to undertake. And what made you choose her? She's a little mama that won't have to worry about any of the hoarding stuff ever again. They think they're doing something good and they're not. And it's not just that they find the abused animals, they find so many dead ones too. We wanted to help out the APL. While the APL would still like people to consider their other dogs too, or perhaps one of the cats also recently rescued from hoarding, which is why they reduced adoption rates, hoping for homes ASAP. Andrew Horansky, 3 News.